and today I'm going to introduce you to a mod for all you Mountain Blade Warband lovers also slash Game of Thrones lovers yes I said Game of Thrones lovers oh yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a World of Ice and Fire mod for the Mountain Blade Warband game um, I also you know you'll see this a world of ice and fire says beta that is not beta this is a final st this is a stable version as they put it um, and we're using the most updated obviously tells you the most updated warband that I have now I've already created a character in here so we're gonna use Delvin Byron which is hopefully it'll create house Byron just one of my random fantasy character names that I figured would be a uh, improvement now as we're loading into the game here just a quick overview there are a lot of things in this game that I have found very interesting um, if you are Game of Thrones lovers um, this is for you this is truly for you especially if you guys follow the Game of Thrones um, lore if you guys truly follow the Game of Thrones lore this game I should say this mod is for you of course Mountain Blade of the games that they have created on top of all the modifications for them it's like having multiple games so I don't see why you wouldn't pay ten twenty dollars to go buy these games I mean all together all the games together you would spend less than what you'd be paying on a console game or just buying a full expanded deluxe version of a limited game title what would they say game of the year edition wouldn't even match because you would get so much entertainment and fun out of this um, so anyways moving on this is my character Lord Byron here and I just started like I said so I've only put about maybe 10-15 minutes into this mod and I figured that people would uh, love it if we just go on the adventure together and kind of tour things and kind of learn things at the same time there are other players out there who have already witnessed and experienced some of the the hours of gameplay on this but I'm kind of just delving into this because of the people on my channel who are watching and those who pay attention just to give you guys an idea of how this game really ties into the the folklore of Game of Thrones. Now, as you can see, we have Winterfell here, and we have Castle Black, which is the wall, and then we have East Watch. Now, obviously, you know in the movie or the movie, the TV series, this is where we have the actual Black. I want to say the the Night Watch. I guess you want to call it. Um. Yeah. So, anyways, as, as you can see, this, this is our and then of course you got the wildling. Now check this out. It even goes into the point of the wildling cities here. Now, I don't know how far people have watched into the Game of Thrones, so don't let me spoil anything. This really follows a lot of key to the show itself. Um. Here's another. Let's see here. I want to bring it to a most notorious city that everybody knows about and a uh, city that everybody's recognizably I want to see they acknowledge exactly what that city is anyways I'm looking for the city of the the Stark or not the Stark but the uh, what used to be here we go King's Landing oh my gosh they have King's Landing and yes it is now being run by our young predecessor who just chopped off the head of Ned Stark or I believe that's his name um, you currently have Rob Stark now now you start off in the story where Rob has now taken over the throne his father his head's been released he just got the news and the wonderful message of winter is coming everybody knows what that means 
very strong phrase if you are a Game of Thrones fan. Um, for those of you who are not, if you watch the series, it will be very intriguing to you. And then you'll see why that phrase is so important. So, as you can see, we have a huge, very, very huge map in addition to this mod. So, I'm going to go back down here. Now, I was sent on a quest. I don't know, that's a weird looking tree, nice graphics. Um, to go to the Black Watch. Now, here's my thing with you guys um, I'm to save us travel time. I'm going to use our quick cheat to fast travel. So part of the quest is Rob Stark wants us to go to Castle Black. He wants to clarify what this message was all about. And we'll go ahead and just go into detail. Winter is coming part two. And of course, giving by Lord Rob Stark. It says, King Rob Stark has asked you to travel to Castle Black to find the Lord Commander and see if he can shed any light on the current situation. So... That's what we're trying to do. Now, obviously, I'm going to go to the Great Hall, probably where I'm going to find all the Lords, vassals, and anybody else that is pertaining of importance. We're going to go give them a nice run through this. And as you can see, in nice little graphics here. And uh, as my character design, that's a wonderful thing that I love here. This nice little eye patch you can add for a skin. Very, very fantastic for this mod characters are very 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 well developed and pertaining and portraying who they really are so I'm thinking I'm supposed to talk to this guy what cheer master my name's Delvin Byron what have you heard about these White Walkers now if you know the Game of Thrones series you know what a White Walker is but if you haven't keep in touch he says hmm you know the Starks are always right eventually Winter is coming. This one will be long, and dark things will come with it. And it says, what have you heard about these White Walkers? It says, can you tell me how... No, no, I don't want to care. I don't care. And that's all he can really tell me. Uh, and it says, okay, sorry, I have to leave. So he didn't really give... He just gave me a little... Episode. I think here's the guy I'm supposed to talk to. Says I am Lord Commander Jeroboam, Mor uh, your Mormont, the ruler of the Night's Watch, and the Lord of Castle Black and Mole's Town. You may be of common birth, but know that I am always looking for good men to fight for me, if they can prove themselves to be worthy of my trust. So even though what he's saying, in you know these times, these medieval times, um, you're not a noble birth. Obviously, you know lords don't look at you they look at you as scum if you were a peasant or if you you were a low mercantile craft I guess you know a peddler or something of that sort anywhere where money doesn't come easy for you you are still the roach on him now he says you may be of common birth so I've chose obviously for my character to be of royalty somehow some way says okay it says my lord i've been sent on a request of king rob stark he's asked me to deliver this message it says hmm let me see well boy it seems you are to help the men of the night watch what it can't he wouldn't he wouldn't would he don't worry boy you will just return a message to the king of the north tell him we've been capturing wild men more and wild men's more every month they're fleeing south the ones we catch say they've seen the White Walkers. The Night's Watch is the only thing standing between the realm and what lies beyond. And it has become an army of undisciplined boys and tired old men. There are less than a thousand of us now. We can't man the other castles on the wall. We can't properly patrol the wilderness. We have hardly enough resources to keep our lads and armed and fed. As you know, the Night Watch is very, very low limited on resources. They make do. It says, you must insist King Rob Stark sends more men immediately. When winter does come, gods help us off. We're not ready. So there's one other thing you could help us with, Delvin Byron. Our scouts have reported a wildly raiding party heading towards the Bridge of Skulls. You must liaise with our host there and make sure they do not pass that bridge. It says, very well, I shall leave at once. I, of course, you would agree. How dare you? So anyways, and, 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 oh, looky there, they're, they're your most common character in the Game of Thrones, Jon Snow. 
If you want to join the watch, you should speak with Lord Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk to you. Well, anyways, just a quick thing of Game of Thrones. If you are considered a bastard son of not royalty, or you are a Jon Snow, you have no royalty whatsoever. You're a bastard, but you still can fight like a knight. You can be part of that. Now I'm going to go visit the inn. Normally I like pop in, in the tavern and see if I can recruit some guys. Now, I don't know how much money I've got. Oh, I've got 8,000. I think that should do. Seven others. All right, I'll hire all of you. Here's $1,900. Sure. Silver stags. You can have them all. No, I don't want a flippy coin. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, I think I'm done talking in the tavern. I got me a couple men that I just wanted to rack up there that should be enough for me to uh, venture out. Now, he wants me to go to Rob Stark. Now, obviously, Rob Stark's um, diplomacy <coughs> status is a little bit busy. He's dropped. He's about to go to King's Landing, march his army to King's Landing, and go take our wonderful King Slayer. And his family, not just the Kingslayer, but all of them, everybody, he wants to be rid of. Only because of his father being chopped off. So, and I mean his head being chopped off, not necessarily him being chopped off. So we're going to go back to Winterfell. And it's, uh, visit the smoking log, which is probably the tavern. I want to go to the brothel. What a whorehouse. I, could, I should go to the whorehouse, but eh, whatever. We'll go back to the Great Hall. And go continue our wonderful quest. Hopefully he gives me some goodies because I am so low on them. At Sir Roderick. Oh, Mr. Roderick. You're an asshole. I can't wait to see what the the bloodhound looks like. The on gray joy, of course you guys know who that is. All you Game of Thrones lovers. Alright, Lord Rob Stark, you better tell me something good. Now I don't know if that really looks like Rob Stark. I don't think Rob Stark really had a beard, but whatever's manageable. Uh let's see. Do you have any task for me? It says, yes, there's something you can do first. We have heard reports that a group of northern clans have established a hideout in the area and have been attacking travelers. If you could find their lair and destroy it, we would be very grateful. I'm pretty sure you would. Yeah, I'll go ahead and accept it. Now, obviously, I don't know what the whole... Uh, oh, that's why. Come on now. Come on now, Whip. Let's get back in the game here. So what I've realized is we've made a mistake. We need to go back down to the black castle area and look for a location. So let's see, bridges and bones. It says you must liaise with the host of Night's Watchmen at the Bridge of Skulls and suppress the raiders. So the Bridge of Skulls, where would we find the Bridge of Skulls? Forgive me for my being naive, but I think we got to figure out where this bridge is at now. They really didn't give me no help on this. I really find that uh, annoying. But with all these bridges popping around here. I don't see. Let's go talk to these guys. Let's see if they might give us some information.
Okay, talk to the old god. So pretty much I just gave my, boosted my men's morale. Didn't really solve my problem. I need to figure out where this bridge of skulls is. No strategy guy. Oh, what's this? What's this? Ah, the bridge of skulls we found. So we're going to move here and figure out what is going on. It says, you finally reached the bridge of skulls, aptly named for the bones in the gorge below. The path is dangerous, and unfortunately, any horses had to be left behind. It looks as though the wildlings have already started the attack. You must hurry. Oh, God speed us. Old God speed us, according to the throne lore. Come on, come on. Now, you all understand that any mod, as far as loading textures and all this, this will be a difficult task. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are all these men coming from? Is this one heap battle? Um, show banners of friendly troops. Why is it not doing that? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whatever. I was like, I don't think I've set the battle size that large, but... Oh, and as another thing, as we get a little play of the uh, battle play here, as you can see, my little health bar and my stamina bar, um, the creators of this mod did really, really good with um, creativity, as you can see. Uh, there's quite a little bit of lag spike in here. I think that could be because of my battle size, possibly. And of course my texture loading. God, those textures kill me. Now hopefully my guys are leveling up here. And I'm I'm allying with the Night's Watch, it seems to me, as we got some Night's Watch brothers here. Oh wow. Nice scenery. Nice scenery. Give you guys a first person look at this. We are now traveling over the Bridge of Bones. And that looks to be hundreds of soldiers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we need to reduce that battle size. I don't think we're going to be able to get in here. Oh yeah, wow. Wow. That is a lot of soldiers. Okay, we're going to have to reduce that. Come on, little bastards. Cut through them. Cut through them. Just cut through them. Hack and slash. Now most, obviously you know about Warband and Mountain Blade and how this goes in. You can't just start swinging a sword and expect to be victorious. Game of Thrones, it seems to me, has made that particularly easy for the uh, Mountain Blade player. Now keep in mind that we are on a low combat difficulty setting but that does not change the game because you could be on a low combat difficulty setting on any other mod like you know um amno domini or the the last days which is the lord of the rings mod you can get your ass whooped um Perizno is another one those kind of uh, mods right there they do not they do not give you a chance those are for the hardcore and determined players obviously uh, as we're sizing this army down there's a lot of blood being shed here. Looks like we've crossed the bridge. Yeah, just we gonna have a quick reminder to always reduce battle size. If you guys want performance and all that, unless your computers can handle it. Obviously, I'm playing on a laptop, so I cannot go huge. Now, obviously, if I had my graphics settings up a little bit, Oh, look at this. I'm going to just throw some rocks at him. Oops. I threw a rock at my friend. It says, you finally reached the Bridge of Skulls, aptly named for the bones in the gorge below. The path is dangerous, and unfortunately any horses had to be left behind, and so, yeah, yeah. We leave. Okay, we, we were just told that. So, uh, now what? So we go to our quest log. Bridge of Bones Part 2 says, You must return to the Lord Commander and let him know the battle was a success. Okay, surely we'll do that. 
so back to Castle Black we go. Holy cow. Oh, I was just looking at the uh, army size here. He says he doesn't have enough troop to cover the wall. He's got 362 just at the gate, so... Um, not everybody's a mathematician, but I'm pretty sure 362 is a largeable size army, especially a mountain blade. But back in these times, obviously, 300 men wasn't going to do the job. So let's go to the Great Hall and visit our old Lord Master. Give me the power. Eventually I will challenge these fools. Meister, 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 Mister. <coughs> um, yeah. Wait a minute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Seems to me. Call from Anderson Oscar. Call from Anderson Oscar. Where? Where are you? Why is the phone ringing at this time? I just don't understand where this man can be. Where could our Lord be? Now, it says, Bridges and Bones, it says, you must return the Lord Commander, let him know. He was in the field and oh he was in the field okay so he's outside somewhere our lord commander is patrolling somewhere where would he be patrolling that's our question I don't see him here I do not see him there. I do see a party over here. Shadow Tower. That must be a nice little castle, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm not seeing our wonderful Lord Master here. Maybe I can actually travel for a minute. See if I can get a better idea. Ah. I think we have met our Lord Master. Says, well, Devlin Bradwin, what is it? My Lord, we have repelled and attacked at the bridge. That should hold them for a while. Very good, Devlin Byron. Now you must get some rest. You must be exhausted. Once you're ready, you must return to the King of the North and tell him I need more men. I fear the wall won't hold much longer. Of course, my lord, I shall leave right away. How dare you respond like that? You are a lord. See if any one of our guys uh, upgrades here. No, no, no. But our character looks like he's ready to level up. Oh, yay. Let's jack up his strength there. I'm always about strength when it comes to fighting here. Put up the shield. Power throw. Eh. We probably don't need a whole lot, but do our one-handed. We have no archery. We're going to have to practice on that. Two-handed weapons. I think we can balance that out. Okay. So anyways, let's move on and let's go back to our wonderful Winterfall. Look at that. 461 just for Winterfell's hold. And on top of that, Lord Rob Stark is holding 300. He's got over 700 troops. Now that has a large size army, and I don't think I would be able to 
even if I took it at a hundred, I'd have, even with cheating, it'd be a long fight, and I don't think that would be interesting. Whatever. So let's go to the Great Hall once again. Sorry, Roderick. We have no time to talk. Meister, don't want to talk to you. Ah, Lord Webstart. Well, Delvin Byron, what is it? About that task you gave me. Yes, have you made any progress in it? I'm afraid I'm still working on it. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so... It seems to me... We're going to have to go destroy the bandit layer first. So... Because I don't think Lord Rob Stark's going to really have time for us or take the time to talk to us. So seems to me back out again we go to continue our wonderful quest. Now, like I said, you've seen I've only put 15, 10 minutes in a game. Um, it seems to me that there is a lot of... There's going to be a lot. If winner's coming and you're going to be the one to take the chance to be the Lord, then yeah, this might be a very long game. Um, that's what I'm doing. I gotta drop that battle size. That was ridiculous. I think 60, 60 will be fine at a time. It means, you know, they can send in, yeah, 63, whatever. That's good enough for me. Okay, so somewhere... We need to find a camp. And according to them, the Mountain Clan camp. Crofter's Village, no. No. No, I'm pretty sure he said to the north, right? Find and destroy the Mountain Clan's camp and report back to the Lord's Arm. So... Having problems with this one again. Now, obviously, these quests are very, they're not, um, they're not very user friendly at all. Bear Island, no, no. Where must I guess let's travel. Let's see if anything pops up. Hmm. This has got me stumped. This has got me stumped. And the only reason why I say it's got me stumped is because I don't see any location marked. And I'm pretty sure he said to the north. You know what? Let's just go and take a gander. Okay, that's just a castle that we obviously just don't need to be lingering around in. This is ridiculous. I, I just find this really... Now I'm going to just say whoever made this mod, I think you need to improve something. How about user-friendly quest? How about give us, you know, an idea of this location instead of, you know, just looking around. 
Obviously, I haven't watched the Game of Thrones series in some time. Grey Water Watch. You know what? I got an idea. Let's be useful. Let's talk to Mr. Roland. Huh. See if he can give me some of them. Want to know the location. It's cooperative towards you. Hmm. Knows of you. The all these people know of me. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. These guys know of me. Okay, guys, we're going to stop this video until I get more feedback. So thank you guys all.